morning and we're working our way up the canyon quiet so far but we're not too far up here so we're just gonna hunt our way as far as we want to go we'll probably find a camp spot somewhere around midday and drop some of this weight but I imagine we're probably gonna get interrupted so looking forward to that there's elk here and we found them and we're gonna get back on them so stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you got a good look at that bull last night. Thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It makes us happy. <laughs> we like it, it helps our channel. So just hitting that like button and drop a positive comment. It really does help and we do appreciate it and we like reading those. So thanks again guys and I think we're in for a wild day. And it and it helps if you put your release on before you drop it in the dirt. Well, we just, I don't know, about 20 minutes ago, we just finally hit the sun. And we're ways back in here. Been hiking all morning, listening for elk, looking for elk. Made a, a few calls. Haven't heard or seen anything yet, other than a few hikers. We stopped to get some snacks and take a little break. I'm gonna push up the canyon a little bit further, look for a camp spot, and probably chill for a little bit, get camp set up, get some camp water, maybe take a woods nap, and make our plan for the rest of the day. You know, I gotta say, after hiking in just a little bit last night and getting slapped in the face with bugles and a herd of elk not too far away, I'm a little surprised we haven't seen or heard anything this morning. But it's what it is, it's elk hunting, and we're gonna go find them, stick them, move them, or we're gonna move. This country, this country is amazing. I've had this one area in mind the entire time. Probably a little further than we wanted to pack in, but looked like a good place to set up and actually a really good place to hunt from. So I don't know what you guys could see, but I think Alicia pulled the camera out to see my reaction as we rounded the corner into this beautiful meadow. And she didn't get quite what she expected. I love places like that and she knows it and she knew I was gonna have a big smile on my face until I saw the first tent right where we were planning on camping. I'm like, all right, we look around. There's another good spot. Walk towards it, another tent. 
And this is where we want to be. We don't like being near people, period. I don't care if you're a backpacker, a hunter, a berry picker, a mushroom picker, whatever. We don't like being around people. So we debated further up, further over, backwards. Thankfully, we looked around a little bit and found a sweet ass spot to set up our camp. We're really separated from the other camps and we back up to where we'll probably hunt anyway. So we're gonna be thankful for that. It's amazing, happy to be here. And now it's time to drop packs, go check out access to water. It, I mean, water's here, we know that, but we're gonna see how easy it is to get to it. And then we'll get camp set up, snack, and nap our faces off. Side, I think we're gonna mostly glass, but probably dive into this timber as soon as we responsibly can and stir something up. I mean, it's, it's the kind of country, you know there's elk in there. It's just a matter of if we can see them or get them to talk or both. One thing we haven't talked about yet are the wolf tracks. Fresh? There's probably a few, right? I mean, we saw one for a while. Yeah. And one wolf, but I thought there was a spot where there were probably two at most, uh -huh. and that's in a couple of different spots. Yeah, so yeah, running the trail for a little bit, probably within the last couple of days. We hope it doesn't keep the elk quiet, anyways. Um, we're gonna hear a bugle here soon, so we'll let you know when we do. See or hear an elk. So we're gonna go find him.
Set up. Not that it's dead quiet, except for us breaking all the sticks and twigs in the forest. It's when you just gotta suck it up and uh, be a herd of elk, make extra noise, and sneaking up on shit in here. Because there's nothing in here. We're almost out of shooting light, and uh, it's dead. Nothing's talking. We can't do anything in this forest unless we're getting responses. So we're gonna head back to camp. So we're gonna start trucking.